Hello again. It's Friday, January 15th, 2021. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. At a recent Covington City Council meeting, a gently sinking portion of Durant Road near Wendy's was mentioned as a concern. Before the city does more paving there, the CHA engineering firm has suggested some core drilling. Some two-inch holes will be drilled down to at least 20 feet to be able to determine what might be done to address the problem. And recently, an eight-inch water line nearby was found leaking there too, perhaps the result of some of all that settling. The city of Covington's recent expanded recycling effort is succeeding and costs are rising. Often the bins behind Casey Field are at capacity by most Saturdays. Those using them are reminded not to place recyclables on the ground nearby if the bins are full. And now a word from our sponsor. At Monday's Covington School Board meeting, Superintendent of Schools Melinda Snead Johnson told the school board that about 52% of the system's students are getting D's and F's. Immediate efforts are being made to get remediation plans in place at all the schools, she said. Rental assistance to help both landlords and tenants is now available via the Virginia Rental and Mortgage Relief Program. Those seeking aid may use the URL of www.vhda.com. And we'll be right back. Pre-planning a funeral presents a loving and considered gift to your family. Making decisions now provide a framework for future choices. We invite you to stop by the funeral home. Let us answer any questions you may have about pre-funding or pre-arranging a funeral service. And now for local obituaries. Robert Eisenhower, 72 of Glen Wilton, died Wednesday. Edward McAllister, 86 of White Sulphur Springs, died Tuesday. Thessalonia Mack, 98 of Lexington, died on Monday. Mary Brads, 84 of Lexington, passed away on Tuesday. Alvin Howell Road, 82 of McDowell, died Thursday. George Howell Jr., 80 of Fairfield, died on Wednesday. Claudine Hill, 92 of Glasgow, died on Wednesday. And Chris Hilton, 66, formerly of Vina Vista, died January the 6th. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. Now it's time to check out the local weather forecast. On Saturday, it should be mostly cloudy with scattered snow showers, high of 37 and a low of 27. And on Sunday, mostly cloudy, high of 38 and a low of 25. And on Monday, mostly cloudy, with a slight chance of snow showers, high of 36 and a low of 24 degrees. And there's good news. There's only 63 more days until springtime in Virginia. And that's the way it is on Friday, January 15, 2021. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.